Why am I in the kitchen, you might ask? Well, I figured I'd bring you another product review that's for the home. I ordered this. How many of us hate our soap dispensers? You know, the kind that are just in the sink here and you push down. You know, they work great, but the thing is refilling them, right? I mean, they're annoying. So I ordered this guy off Amazon. You can find the link in the description. You get a nice big long hose. It's called the Ultimate Kitchen. Oh, it's a nice rubbery hose. Very flexible. And there's a check valve. There's a couple different bungs. You slide the hose through. Different uh, widths here. You'll see what that's for. It's for a whole new soap dispenser. So you get the new soap dispenser. The bungs, the hose, and a hard plastic hose. Then you get to figure out how this all works. Because it's Chinese. No, they give you directions. I see what they got here. I just had to look at the directions, and the directions stink. But what we got here is pretty self-explanatory. So you'll take the rubber hose, you slide it through this fitting, and you'll slide it around the end of there. Or if you're just replacing your bottle, it's threaded. You can thread your bottle right onto there. The other end will dangle below the cabinet, and you will pick the correct size of this you want. I'm going to assume it's probably the smaller one. Ooh, that's going to be tight to get through. I might need to use a little soap to get this through. But the idea is you go through, and then this will just drop into your bottle of soap. So, for example, we buy the Dawn at Costco. So, you know, you would unscrew your cap like that. You would take the bung and the hose would be through. I haven't got through. And that does seem like it's the correct size. If I didn't think it's the correct size, there's this one. Well, actually, that one might work better. So I could be wrong. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it depends how well you want it to go in. Let's try the other one completely. Eh, I like the other one. The bigger one is a snugger fit. So take some of the soap, lube up your tube, and then see if that helps. Yeah, that slides it through. Great. So that's going to slide in, and you're going to want that dangling down inside there. So like so. What I'm going to do is probably just mark it with a marker there. Marker. like that. I don't think it's going to really permanent marker. It's not going to really work on this too well. Probably a piece of tape around there will work. We'll assume you already have one, so you're going to have to uninstall this. So, you know, take it out. Let's see if I can just do it from here. No, I'll have to undo the bottle. Forgot about the bottle. That is like the longest threaded part in history. That's the old one. Let's see, <laughs> see, compare threading length. Oh, I guess they're that long. I mean, even if it was granite, come on now. <laughs> Clean up around there. And there's a rubber gasket there. Yeah, the base of this one's a lot smaller. Sits a little lower too does a fairly good job matching what we have going on here. I'll probably keep the old one, nothing wrong with it. Just shove it in a baggie, throw it in the back of the cabinet, forget about it, you know, clean it up. Thread that guy on. So back under I go. It's like the worst part of the whole deal. Oh yeah, right, I need to use the hose. Honestly, I probably could have taken the old one and just slid that tube around this. Pump. 
as long as you have that check valve so it doesn't run back it would work wouldn't it hmm well we'll see how the one this part <laughs> works I'm just not liking that it's not really good fit there every sink underneath is just oh. <laughs> but anyways here's the tube you can see I got to put the bung on that will fit this Dawn bottle so then you just take it shove the hose in shove the bung in that's why I marked it and then all you do is place it where you want it seeing as that will last for quite a while just shove it up in the corner there top of those hoses and then you come over here then you come over here and I don't know if you can see that, but it's going up the tube slowly. So it's to the chuck valve, so it won't run all the way back. There we go. Finally. So I've got it all the way through. It takes a lot of pumps because it's just going to go little by little by little until it fills up that tube to the check valve. Then it's going to keep going past the check valve. Check valve is going to allow it so it doesn't drain all the way back for obvious reasons and you have to pump that many times every time. So there we have it. Change that out. I'm going to take a look. I don't think that's correct. Let's, let's see what the directions say. Did I misread it? No, it says so as that washer goes on top of the counter, uh, it just doesn't seem correct to me. So I don't like that it's sticking up so high. Okay, I think this is important. So I loosened, I took off the nut, pulled this up. There's two rubber washers. One is seated all, the, all in there. So one is supposed to go on top, one on the bottom. That would put that flat. That makes sense. When you look at the picture closely, it does show two washers. It just doesn't point them out. You can see that. I don't think I had to do all that. I wasn't even thinking it's a rubber washer, right? But it shows you. Well, I guess you can un undo this if, if need be. Wow, being under the cabinet sucks. <laughs> so... That's pretty tight. That's a lot flusher. I like that. I want to see if I can pull that up. I can. I want to see if I can clean this off. Let's see if I can dry up the soap on the end here. I just have a feeling it's going to fall off otherwise. It was on there pretty good being dry. That soap really lubed it up. Okay, I think that's good. Now this end. I think I have it all done. So that's what it looks like top side. Matches the sink somewhat. I mean, the other one is nicer, but it mowing and cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> so under the cabinet, that's pretty much what the bottle will look like back there. Here, let me get some light. So under the cabinet, this is what it's going to look like. Just kind of store the bottle you know off to the side and instead of refilling that silly little uh you know bottle they give you instead of refilling that guy which is always the pain to get on 
or if you do it up here then you always overflow them that will last a lot longer right and a lot easier to change just get down here and put in a put in a new one and call it good you know and if you always buy the same stuff you don't really have to change the uh, stopper or anything so there we have it hopefully this helped you out sorry if it's a little long for what it is a faucet but you know man I hate being under sinks and I'm sure you do too but hopefully the ultimate kitchen works out and I'll have a link in the description thanks for watching